has spoken in recent months to the United Nations twice, the U.S. Embassy, the WE Media Conference in Miami, Columbia University, the Missouri School of Journalism, the Southern California Writers Conference in San Diego uh, as well. So please give David a warm Omaha welcome. This is about media. The ability to create media is no longer in the hands of wealthy executives and large corporations. And they're completely freaked out about this. I don't know if you've noticed, right? And it's moving into the hands of the people, right? Into the hands. Everyone in this room has the ability to be as had the immediacy and reach of an organization as large as Reuters. So Be The Media looked at all of these different fields and found successful uh, entrepreneurs that were actually in all of these different fields doing very well. And my question always is, if we're such smart people and we all have advanced degrees and we've all been to school, why is the Rock Rocky Mountain News failing? Why are media companies dying? Why are they laying off so many people? And yet at the other end of the spectrum, I see people making millions of dollars and living in Beverly Hills and Marin and Scarsdale and the Hamptons and selling the same information. So I went and I looked at all of those different uh, people. And I found three things. One, the successful ones had a direct relationship with their audience. They had no middlemen. Two, they owned their rights. They owned their intellectual property. And number three, they repurposed their content. The wonderful news about today, too, is you don't need millions of fans in order to create a hit. In the old days, you needed millions of fans because you needed to have enough money to create the CD or create the DVD. Today, it's easier than ever and cheaper than ever. And all you need is 1,000 true fans. We don't need millions. So it takes us out of the long tail where we're all competing with each other. If you get these 1,000 true fans, you may not get us bestsellerdom, but you make a living. You may not make a killing, but you'll make a living. The other piece of this that I found was fascinating is folks that were working the product pricing curve. Essentially, all these folks were selling higher and higher and higher value products and services. I want to go beyond products and money, because this also happens to apply to politicians. Barack Obama used this product pricing curve to win the election. If you look at the bottom axis, that's your products from the least expensive to the most expensive on the right. And the uh, other axis is your customers or your patrons. From people who will never pay a penny, the cheap ones, all the way up to people who pay you hundreds of thousands of dollars. So what we try to teach in Be The Media is continually create higher and higher value products and services. So instead of just selling a $20 CD, if you never offer any other services, all you'll ever have is $20 CD buyers. And that's a recipe for extinction, right? I mean, if that's all you ever have, you never get any other revenue streams. So look at what Barack Obama did. He gave a lot of free videos to get people into YouTube and to, to, to attract people to his message. Got a whole bunch of email addresses and text messages. He offered a book for $40, an autographed book for $60, a picture of you with Barack Obama for $250. For people who raised a quarter of a million dollars, he let you go to the Democratic National Convention. He had a party at Barbara Streisand's house. It cost $28,500 to get in the door. Right? He also had a concert with Billy Joel and Bruce Springsteen in Madison Square Garden. $500 seats, $1,000 seats. What was he doing? He's working the product pricing curve. And what you start finding is it takes fewer and fewer super fans on the right side of the curve to make as much, if not more, money than the millions of fans you have on the left side of the curve. Right? All you need is one person to give you $30,000. And it makes up for 30,000 people giving you a dollar. And it's a heck of a lot easier to manage one person than 30,000. It's not just for uh, making money. It also could win you uh, the presidency of the world's uh, most powerful country. <laughs>